Now comes, you know, the story of Nuh, and I told you, two sections of this surah, 25 ayat are devoted to the story of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wassalam. Although, you know, it has been repeated many a time, but this is the longest discourse. We have another surah, complete surah, in the 28th part, surah al -Nuh. It also has 28 ayat. It is absolutely and exclusively devoted to the history of Nuh alayhi salatu wassalam. But the, you know, counterpart, you can say, is this place in the Quran, where, you know, this has been discussed in detail. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحَ نِلَا قَوْمِهِ إِنِّي لَكُمْ نَذِرُ مُبِينَ And we had sent Nuh to his nation. Now, not nation. Whole of the nation. Nation as a whole. إِنِّي لَكُمْ نَذِرُ مُبِينَ And he said, we, I am for you a clear warner. Allah ta'abudu illa Allah. And, you know, the message is that you don't worship anything, anyone except Allah. إِنِّي أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ عَلِيمٍ I fear on you the chastisement of a very big day, very mighty day. فَقَالَ الْمَلَوْ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ قَوْمِهِ So replied the chiefs of his nation who had, who had disbelieved him. مَا نَرَاكَ إِلَّا بَشْرًا مِسْلَنَا We don't see you except you are also a human being, you are also a mortal like us. وَمَا نَرَاكَ تَبَاكَ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَرَادُ لُنَا بَعْدِيَ الْرَاعِ And we don't see that anybody had followed you except those who are meanest. Apparently, most apparently the meanest of us, our, our slaves, our servants. Some of those have gathered around you. No, none of the noble, the nobility, none of the aristocracy, none of the wealthy people. Nobody has, you know, accepted your, your dawah and accepted you as the messenger of Allah, except, you know, some people, you know, who belong to the lowest status of our society. Most apparently, they, you, we can see that they belong to the lowest strata of our society. And we don't see that there is any superiority in you or them over us. If it's the truth which you are presenting, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should have made you superior to us in wealth also, in position also, in, you know, in this hierarchy of the tribe also. But we don't find you are not from among the chiefs, you are not from among the wealthiest people of the tribe. And in the same way, only these people, you know, the poor, they people are gathering around you. Bal nazun nukum kaazebeen. Oh, we think that you are telling a lie. You are in, an imposter. Now, this is the same thing. I told you this is going to be the, the central idea. He said, Oh, my nation, oh, my people, have you considered if I was on Bayyana from my Rabb? You know, you have been seeing me. The nature that I had, that I was bestowed upon by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my character, you have been seeing me all along. If in kuntu ala If I was on a self-evident light from my rod, wa'atani rahmatam min indihi, and then he gave me the mercy from his treasures. That is why it has come to me later. For 40 years there was no wahi to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was on the bayana from his Lord, right from his birth. His character, his personality, you know, was a shining light. But you know, Wahi was not coming. But then Wahi came, light added unto light. Noorun ala noor, just as we have in Surah al Noor. Noorun ala noor. The nature was a noor itself. And then the Wahi, noor of Wahi has also come. So noor has been added to noor. Qala ya qawmi arayatu min kuntu ala bayyirati min rabbi wa atani rahmatam min indihi. Fa ummiyat alaykum. And this has been obscured from you. You are not able to see it. So can we compel you to accept it? If you are not liking it, if you are abhorring it, we cannot uh, compel you to accept it. And my people, just look and think, I have never asked you for any money. I have never asked you for any wealth. I don't ask you for any ajr. In ajri Allah, my reward 
my salary, my remuneration, everything rests with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ma'ana bitaridi lazina amalu. Then I'm not going to drive away those who have come to believe. Whether they are from your servants, whether they are from your slaves, whether do you feel that they are the mean people, they are the menials and so on, whatever you may like to say. Ma'ana bitaridi lazina amalu. I'm not going to drive them away. In nahum ulaqul abdihim. They will be meeting their Lord. وَلَكِنِّي أَرَاكُمْ قَوْمًا تَجْحَلُونَ But I do see that you are in ignorance. You are not seeing the truth. You are ignorant. وَيَا قَوْمِ مَنْ يَنْصُرُنِي مِنَ اللَّهِ And my people just think, who will, be, who will save me? Who will be able to save me? Who will be able to help me against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? إِنِ اتَّرَبْتُهُمْ If I drive them away, because they are poor, I drive them away. I push them away from me. Do you not get reminded? Admonition. The same wording which appeared regarding Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I have never claimed, I don't claim that I possess the treasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I clearly state that I don't know the unseen. وَلَا أَقُولُ إِنِّي مَلَكُ Nor do I say that I'm an angel. I've never claimed to be an angel. وَلَا أَقُولُ لِلَّذِينَ اسْتَدْرِي عَيُنُكُمْ لَنْ يُوتِيَهُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا Nor I can say that the people, your eyes are looking down upon them, these people, you are hating them, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give them the goods, the goods of hereafter, you know. فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَلَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَلَةً you are seeing them to be mean or low, but maybe they are high in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, I can't say. Allah Allah very well knows. He is aware of what is there in, in, there in their souls. Inni is Allah min zalimin If I drive them away, well, I would become one of the evil doers. They said, oh no. You have disputed with us. You have argued with us. And you have gained a lot in this dispute. You have made a lot of dispute. It can be translated in both ways. You have made a lot of dispute and argument. Now we are fed up with this argument. Now if you are true, now bring to us what you are threatening us. Bring the azab of Allah. Call on Allah. He should send the azab on us. The chastisement or the torment about which you have been talking so long. Now let it be. Let it happen. Qala innama yatikum bihillah insha. He replied, Allah will bring it to you on you if he so desires. Waman tu bi And when it comes, you will not be able to defeat. You will not be able to protect yourself from that chastisement. You will not be able to escape it. And I know that my sincere counseling and advice will be of no avail to you. Even if I sincerely want for you that you be saved. If Allah has decided that to, he has to lead you astray. He has put a seal on your fate. He has put, set the seals on your heart. And I can't do it. Who are Abbaqum? He is your Lord. وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And to him you will be returned. أَمْ يَقُولُونَ افْتَرَاهِ Are they saying that he has concocted these things? Now here he means Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the midst of this discourse, discussing the events of Hazrat Nuh, and what was going on between him and his people. Now, in, bet- in the between them, there is a reference to Muhammad sallallahu of tarah. Now, these things which we are revealing to you, O Muhammad, do they say that you have forged them? Call it if tarayatuhu, Say to them, if I have concocted these things, forged these things, these ayat, faalayayirami. So, on me will be my guilt. My crime will be on me. But likewise, I am absolutely unanswerable for your guilt, what you are doing. If what I am saying is correct, it is from Allah and you are rejecting. 
well you will be repaid you will be rewarded you will be recompensed if for the sake of argument if i am doing this thing wrong then i will have to face the consequences